Welcome back to Soak. And yes, it's completely soaked. Here we come. Australia. Huh? I'm Australia. Australia? Yeah, I'm Australia. Bye bye train. Thank you. Okay. Made it to Denizli. I'll see you tomorrow morning when I go check out Laodicea. Good morning. Welcome back to Denizli. Today, I'm riding to the ancient city of Laodicea. Okay, Laodicea is on the top of this hill up ahead. This hilltop was the site of one of the richest cities in Asia. Beautiful colonnaded main street. All right, welcome to Laodicea. Another one of the seven churches of Asia mentioned in Revelation. As I said, this was one of the richest cities in Asia. It benefited from being on the confluence of a couple of major trade routes, right here where the Lycia joined the Meander. So it soon became very, very rich and patronized the Greek arts. Well, there's a whole group of people singing in here.
beautiful. Perhaps they're on a Seven Churches of Asia tour. You can see in the distance that big white formation. That's the Travertines of Pamakale. I'll be heading there next. Those are some pretty wholesome Christians in there. Incredible, what an impressive colonnade. All such nice white marble. This city was so rich that its wealth was talked about in the Bible. And when they had an earthquake and the whole town was completely destroyed, when the emperors of Rome offered to help them rebuild it, they turned it down and rebuilt it entirely with their own dough. That's how rich they were. What a beautiful central courtyard. Check out these tiles. My grandparents had tiles like this on their bathroom floor. Just goes to show how even 2,000 years ago we know what looked good. Peristyle house with a church included. So someone in Laodicea had a little church built into their house. That figures. Would you look at these columns? Look at these ones. These ones with the nice marbled marble. Let's take a look at this roofed area. If it's open. Hmm, I guess it's not open. That's a shame. That's okay. I prefer the unroofed stuff anyway. Cool. Oh my. What an incredible theater. Wonder if the people of Laodicea came forward in time and saw this. I wonder what would blow their minds more the remains of their city or all of the stuff that we built like the highways and cars and futuristic human civilization that's everywhere else this was another Laodicean church pretty cool as for these giant monumental colonnades they were the borders of the Agora And what an agora it must have been. Would have loved to come shopping here back in the day. Aha, some mosaics underneath this glass. Ah! 
the amount of time and effort that goes into putting every single little tile down. Someone spent so many hours on this. Nice. And we've got some archaeologists here. They're probably from the University of Pamakale. Ooh, we've got a Laodicean crane over here, actively working on stuff. Oh, wow. Now this theatre is in much better shape than that other one. I wonder what the key factor is. Maybe the aspect? Maybe this one's been buried and it's just recently been excavated by all these friendly folks. See that down there? That must have been the emperor or elitist's box. Front and center with a nice little shade cloth over the top. Looks like they're in the process of turning this into a functional modern stage. Nice, looks like we got another corner of the Agora over here. Look at this corner column. I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. Two columns blended together. That's really cool. Wow, you can really see the excavation work that's been done here. I wonder how long this was buried. Look how much lime scale build up is inside this pipe. You can see the original outside and then all of this build up, just reducing the capacity of the pipe over the years. This was the bane of ancient water systems. Still it's a bane of water systems today. Damn lime scale. What an incredible sight. Wow, it's like every street in this place had a colonnade. You can really tell this place was rich. Just the quality of the marble that every single column is made of. Ooh, nice, I think this is the Fountain of Trajan. I wonder if that statue's original. I sure hope it is. Good old Trajan. He ruled over the empire's greatest territorial extent. The greatest of the five good emperors. What a dude. All right, we got a bathhouse here. Looks like it's really, really about to collapse, especially that up at the top there. I just love these arches subsumed into the landscape. It's an aesthetic to die for, seriously. Here's the ancient stadium.
not in the best shape, but you can still definitely see the landscaping and a little bit of tiered seating. Wow, that's very cool. Okay. I want to get a look at what this place looks like from above.